The second week studying the anatomy of the head brought me to the conclusion I should have started this module in a different way. I started a week with Michael Hampton's book, reading his notes and trying to copy some of the drawings. But I found that although his drawings are impressive and inspiring, the explanations are sparse or skipped altogether. So I did my best to copy some of the drawings and learn with the book's examples, but ultimately decided to use my time at home before Christmas holidays and with the availability of my drawing tablet to work on the light studies of the Asara head model I shared last week. In my first drawing, I traced the planes of the head and then filled that with values. Then I worked the same image, just trying to get the face without the line base. This exercise was more fun, so I did it for different angles and light configurations. This page took quite some time to fill up and it was a fun exercise. I believe the light and value exercise and the tracing the face on different angles are both worth doing. The tracing can be a resource for getting the structure of the face, and the values exercise is great for learning how to light the face and also applying some of the learned structure independently and see where you take this. I noticed from my exercise that I still need some work with proportions and uh, the structure of the face. So I worked some more on the female model of the face and uh, tried to balance the two methods. The rest of the week I was traveling and had only access to pencil and paper, so I plan to start Proko's series on the Loomis method and portrait drawing fundamentals. From Proko's first video, How to Draw the Head from Any Angle, it was clear that this was where I should have started my studies of the head. Proko's videos are very clear and well paced, and I believe that starting with his videos and then building up with Marco Bucci, Steve Houston, and Michael Hampton would have been a lot more productive. After I watched the first videos from the Portrait Drawing Fundamentals, I moved to the most recent series on the Loomis method. In this series, Broker uses photographs to draw the head, and I approached those videos like I had done with the figure drawing series. I would stop the video when he showed the reference photo and try to draw the head before I saw him drawing and would only after do a draw along with him. So on the left side, I have my drawings before I saw Broco drawing, and on the right side, my copy of Broco's drawing. This makes the process more time consuming, but it helps to see how much of the explanation I retained from the other videos. And it gives me useful pointers, both when things are going okay and when I have areas I need to improve. I worked the same way with the extreme angles video and I'm happy that I could identify the extremes and for the most part get how to go about adjusting the proportions of a basic Lumi's head to get variations. With the travel for the holidays I ended up just getting to start to study features. Next week I will also travel some more but I will continue to work with Proko's portrait drawing fundamentals and work with features. I hope that by the end of next week I can also start Ahmed Aldori's challenge. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!